In this video, I'll show you how you can create this minimal title animation in HitFilm Express. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new composite chart. Click on new and click on composite chart. And as always, from the template, I'll choose 1080p full HD at 60 frames per second. I'm going to set the duration to 3 seconds and then click on OK. Let's create a background layer. So I'm just going to create a new layer, create a new plane layer. I'm just going to rename this to BG. I'm going to set the color to black. Let's create a new text layer and make sure that the width is 1920, same as the width of your composite composition. And then click on OK. Select your text tool and uh, type in your text. And then I'm going to highlight the text. I'm using the Unisans font right here and uh, the font size is set to 200. And I'm just going to align this text to the middle by clicking on this button that says center alignment. Okay, now we will, I'll just rename this layer to text top. And I'll just create a new plane layer. And I'm, I'm just going to rename this to line. And uh, the color that I'll choose is a pink color. And uh, maybe just a bit of a uh, hot pink color. And then click on OK. Now click on this eyeball icon right here to toggle off the visibility of this layer. Select the rectangular mask tool and uh, just create a shape, uh, something like this. And again, click on this eyeball icon right here to unhide that layer. Okay, now make sure that uh, you go to the, select the mask right here, highlight it, expand that mask options then you get the transform and shape options so just expand the transform and uh, we will animate the scale so and uh, first of all just click on this chain icon right here to unlink the scale so that you will be able to scale either on the x-axis or on the y-axis independently so i'm just going to move forward my playhead to about 15 frames and i would like to create a keyframe at that position and uh, there I would like the scale to be 0% and uh, I'm just going to move forward to about one second and uh, then I would like my scale to be at 100% so if we just scrub if I can just scrub through my timeline this is what we have created so far so as you can see that the line is animating from the middle but I would like this line to be animated from the right side so I just basically want this line to animate from right to left so to do that you just have to uh, play around with the anchor point value so i'm just going to keep on increasing this value and see what happens so if i just scrub through this again you can see that the line is now animating uh, to the left but i just have to increase it a bit more uh, let's maybe keep it at 300 and see how that looks nope i just have to increase it a bit more let's uh, do 400 and see how that looks I'm just going to keep it at 386 and uh, I think that is looking fine. Now you can just simply change the position of this line by dragging this uh, value right here and just uh, put it just un right underneath your last letter. So I'm just going to put it right there. And now if you just play this animation, you'll see that the line is growing uh, to towards the left side. That is what we want to achieve. Now what you can do is uh, highlight both these keyframes, these two scale keyframes, and uh, convert these to manual bezier. Then go to value graph, and then simply drag this handle to the left, and this one to the right. So basically we would like our animation to start slow, and at the middle I would like it to be fast and uh, and uh, then I would like it to be uh, to decelerate at the end. So I'm just going to maybe drag this handle to the left a bit more. And this one to the right. And let's let's play this and see how that this looks. And then uh, you can then maybe increase the gap between these two keyframes, and uh, that way you can uh, maybe get a bit more smoother animation. So I am really satisfied with that. So I'm just going to uh, keep it uh, like that. Now, double click on your last keyframe. 
and we will create a position keyframe at that uh, position or at that point by simply clicking on this circle icon right here and then I'll just move forward by about 20 to 25 frames and um, I will just simply change the position I'll just drag this line to the left of my text right here so now we have something like this going on and um, select your these two keyframes position keyframes and also convert these to manual bezier then go to value graph and just simply drag these handles and then simply increase the gap between these two keyframes to get more smoother animation now the next step is to duplicate the line layer so i'm just going to right click and click on uh, duplicate so this is our duplicated layer i'm just going to rename this to line white and i'll rename this to line pink now in the effects tab search for fill color and uh, drag it on top of your line white layer expand the fill color and then make sure that the blend amount is at 100 percent now select your line pink layer and shift it to the right by about four or five frames and uh, then just play your animation and see how that looks okay that is looking really nice now what you can do is we would uh, like to get rid of this excess bit of our line so to do that we will just simply create a new plane layer and i'm just going to rename it to mask line and uh, the color can be whatever you want to choose I'm just going to go with a uh, red color or maybe a different color like a blue color and then click on ok it doesn't really matter which color you use you won't be able to see it in your animation so i'm just going to hide this layer this mask line layer uh, by clicking on this eyeball icon uh, make sure that your selection tool is selected and then simply just drag this layer to the left just to the left of your text and um, i'm just gonna put it right there okay now uh, in the effects tab search for set matte layer only effect and drag it on top of your line pink layer and go to control tab you have the set matte effect right here expand it and uh, set the source layer to mask line and set the blend to subtract so now if you will just uh, scrub through our timeline you'll notice that the pink line is lo no longer in our animation so I'm just going to do the same thing with my white line right here I'm just going to go effects set matte I'll just copy this effect of line pink layer and paste it on line white layer so I'm just going to make sure that your effects is highlighted right click and click on paste so now just scrub through my timeline and this is our animation okay that is looking really nice now we will animate our text so first of all I'll just create a new text layer set the width to 1920 then click on OK select your text tool and type in your text I'm gonna type in oops clean and uh, simple and then I'll just select the text go to text tab I'll change the font to unisense thin caps and then decrease the font size and uh, maybe increase the gap in between the letters and you'll just put this text below this line uh, make sure that there is equal gap between these uh, the line and the text okay now let's uh, rename this text layer so I'm just going to rename this to text bottom I'm just going to put this below my text top layer Okay, now it's time to animate our text so i'm just going to select the text top layer first and uh, then go to transform now we will uh, animate the position value so, so i'm just going to scrub through my timeline and uh, right at the position where this line is at the middle i would like my text to be at uh, maybe i'll just put the keyframe at there and i'm just going to move this text below that line like that I'm just going to move forward 
and uh, until I'm just gonna move forward until this white thing disappears so right there I'm just gonna move the text and set the position to zero and now we have something like this and uh, highlight both these two keyframes and convert these to manual bezier little value graph and just and drag these handles like we did with the our lines okay now you can maybe then increase the gap between these two keyframes as well so yeah right there I think is fine so play this and this is how it looks so far okay now select the set matte layer only effect yeah first of all let's create a new plane layer I'm gonna rename this to mask text and then click on OK color can be whatever you want uh, uncheck this hide this layer the mask text layer and uh, select your selection tool make sure that your selection tool is selected I would like this layer to be let's make sure that this blue line is on top of your these animated lines so I'm just going to search for set matte layer only effect and I'm just going to drag it on top of my text top layer and on the left side I have the controls tab I can control the set matte effect so I'm going to expand the set matte and change the source layer to mask text and uh, change the blend to subtract let's see what we have here I'm going to do the same thing with my text bottom layer so we'll animate the text bottom layer first go to transform so i'm just going to move forward at two second duration create a keyframe there i'm going to move backwards and i'll just drag this text and put it on top of the line right here okay now convert these keyframes to manual bezier go to value graph and then simply drag this these handles and as always you can increase the gap between these two keyframes if you want to okay that is looking really nice i'm going to drag the set matte layer effect on top of my text bottom layer now i'll expand the set matte layer set the source layer to mask text and uh, there we have it so let's see our overall animation And let me just play this. Okay, that is looking really nice. I think that concludes this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do hit the like button and um, subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.